macro variables let's have a look at its definition it says a macro variable is used to store a value which are always character and includes name letter numbers or any kind of text meaning in a macro variable you can store whatever you want you can store numbers you can store letters and you can store special characters or combination of all these three things to understand this with examples let's go ahead and see welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so let's go to the SAS session and try to understand this with an example so suppose you have created a table where you are summing up these two numbers all right so uh, so what you gonna have the output you would have this kind of output right now suppose you have to use these numbers at multiple places and you have to change this number sometime for example here you have to change this number and here you have to change this number so this kind of uh, the, this kind of changes you will have to make at all of the places wherever you are using so this is where macro variables come into the role and simplifies your work if you want to learn more about how macros can simplify your work please watch the previous video using the link showing just right here in my previous videos right for now, let's understand how we can create the macro variables. So here we just saw that we are summing up these two numbers. Now we can define these two numbers over here. So to define any macro variable, which you are defining in normal, we start with percent and write let. We can define any macro variables using the let syntax. We can say syntax or uh you know parameter so this is how you can uh, define a macro variable now you're gonna give a name to this micro variable which i'm going to say first number which will be 773 then the second variable let's say second number and this this i'm gonna do 276 and now in place of these two numbers we can write so th this is how we create the macro variables right so now the macro variables have been created to see if this value has been assigned into this macro variable or not you can use the put syntax put and just use this macro variable first number and let's run this so here you're gonna see nothing because this was the plain text while we are trying to call this macro variable so to call any macro variable in individual you have to put ampersand and at the end you have to put a operand uh, a, a period sorry at the end you have to put a period now you can run this and if you see here first number resolves to 773 okay now let's come over here and try to use these macro variables first number plus plus second number all right and now let's run this now you can see the sum so you saw that instead of using the numbers, you can define those numbers in a macro variable and you can use these macro variables wherever it is required. So not just only in this program, you can use uh, not only in uh, not only just in this piece of code, you can use this in this session. You can use these macro variables in this session in any program because these are global macros. This, this is what the macro variable is called and this is how we can use it so instead of number you can uh, write anything into this let's change it and put learning area and have this run this is called compiling the macro variable and now calling it 
So you see learn area is printed over here. If you want you can combine something like ampersand sorry at the rate and any number and let's run this and then let's try to print this. You see that is printed. So this is how you can uh, create the macro variables. Now let's go ahead and see what else we have in over here. So there are two type of macro variables. First is local and the second one is global. First let's have a look at the definition of local macro variables. It says macro variables defined inside a macro. This can be used only in the same macro where it has been created. So the macro variables which are getting created in, in, in one macro, those are called the local ma macro variables and those macros, macro variables can be used in the same macro. Let's understand this with an example. So here we have written a macro which is named as sample. So in my previous video, I have explained that any macro can be started with a macro uh, macro syntax and provide the macro name and then you can end it with mend and you can call that with sem uh, with uh, percent you putting the macro name so if you want to understand it uh, understand more about this thing you can just watch the previous video link is given in the description so in this example if you see here the macro starts and here the macro ends and these two macro variables these two macro variables have been defined inside this sample macro. All right. So this can only be used in this macro only. So if you run this piece of code, you will get the output something like this. Now, if you try to use these two macro variables in another program, so this is you, you can see this is this is the program which is outside of this sample macro this is not inside a macro and we are trying to use these two macro variables which we created in sample macro variable sorry sample macro so when you run this this will not give you this kind of output it will not give you this output it will throw you an error so this is what called the local macro variables. The macro variables which are getting created inside a macro, inside a macro, those are mac local macro variables and those can be used inside that macro variable only where it is being created. This is what it want to say over here. Hope you understand this. Now let's have a look at global macro variables. It says macro variables defined outside a macro. This can be used anywhere in the SAS program. Let's take the previous example. But this time we have just moved these macro variables outside of this segment of macro. Now, if you see these macro variables are not getting defined inside this macro. In the previous example, that was being created over here which was inside the macro, inside the macro and main parameter, right? But this time it is outside of that. It can be either over here or over here. So now if you run this, you will get this piece of example, uh, the, uh, this kind of output. I mean, after running this, you will have to print that. Then of course you will get this kind of output. And now if you want to run this program, this will also give you the same kind of output because this time it was defined as global. So if you define a macro variable outside of a given macro, then that can be used anywhere in the particular SAS program. But if you define the macro variables inside a particular macro, that becomes a local macro and that can only be used inside that macro only. All right, so this is what the difference between local and global variables. So th this is it for now. In the next videos, we will see how we can create the macro variables. What all are the methods to create the macro variables? As we saw in this video, uh, we created macro variables using let. Now moving forward, we'll see what all are the ways to create the macro variables. Until now, I would say just 
practice what you learn as much as possible if you have any kind of doubt please do not forget to put that into the comment section thank you very much for watching the video wish you very